Let's talk about managing queues within your Jira service management project. This is not that hard to do and being able to manage your different queues is going to be way, way better for your team than having one giant queue that can become very overwhelming. Do you get many customer requests in languages that your agents can't speak? Then language translations for JSM by our good friends over at Resolution is the perfect app for you. It allows you to leave a great impression on your customers without having to hire folks to speak every specific language that your customers speak. Check it out in the marketplace. And oh, by the way, there's a 20% discount in the description down below. So make sure you use that when you start your trial. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. And as I just mentioned, it's always a good idea to add more cues to an existing JSM project. Now, depending on the template that you've picked, you might already actually have predetermined cues for you. So I'm basically going to show you how to create a custom queue so that you can have a queue based on whatever criteria you want. Now, there are a couple of steps to do this. And the very first step is probably the most critical. And so step number one is you need to know before you even start this endeavor, what kind of information you want to see in that specific queue. And as a general guide, any field that is within your JSM project is eligible to be used as criteria for that specific queue. So what do I mean by this? Well, let's just assume that maybe you want to have a queue for all of the requests that are of a specific request type or a specific issue type. So well, you can do that very, very easily. Let's assume that you want to see a queue that is for each assignee. Well, you can do that as well, right? You can break it up by status, by pretty much any field. If you have a, a dropdown field, then you can pick values out of that dropdown custom field and again, make your custom queues based off of that criteria. So you need to know exactly what you want to see because then the next steps are going to be that much easier because once you know what you're looking for, Creating the cues is going to be the exact same steps, but the tricky part is knowing what do you want to see? So let's take a look at how to create these cues because it's, the steps are actually quite easy. And I think you're going to really, really enjoy making additional cues because like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, not creating extra cues means you're going to have one giant queue and that can become very overwhelming. And so I think you're gonna, really going to like being able to add extra cues that are fully customizable to whatever information you and your team want to see. So let's talk about the steps to do this. Inside of JSM, you're simply going to click on cues. Now this seems counterintuitive, but the moment you click on cues, you're actually going to be redirected to like a sub menu, if you will. Now here is where you're going to be able to see any cues that are starred and any cues that belong to your team's priority. And then you're going to see other. Now below all of this, we're actually most interested in this link here that says manage queues, because when we click on that, then we're going to get this pop up. Now this pop up is where the magic happens. This is where we're essentially going to create the new queue. And like as this is step three, we're going to come back into the exact same pop up and put the queue in the right spot so that we always see it. So let me show you how to do all that. So we're going to click on this create new queue up here. And this is essentially going to give us like a blank canvas that allows us to do whatever we want with it, to be able to search up whatever we want. Now for my specific example, I am simply going to add and status equals in progress. I think this is a very simple, I just want to have an in progress queue that shows me everything that's in progress. And, and that's it. So as you can see, I get a little green check mark saying that this queue is valid, that the syntax here is okay and there's actually issues and down below you'll notice that all the issues have been updated now they actually only show the issues that have in progress so once you've figured out your criteria all you got to do now is name it so you come up here and you can just say in progress requests or whatever you want again this is totally up to you now a little pro tip here is that if you also don't want to write the JQL, keep in mind you can also switch to basic here and simply do drop downs. Now, this is again gonna be all up to you and your level of comfort with being an administrator of Jira. 
Now, same rules apply though when you're looking at typical JQL. If you click the plus more, pretty much any field that you have in your JSM is going to be eligible and you're going to be able to pick almost any field and then any values that you want below that field. That's essentially how you create a queue. Now you can go crazy here and do all kinds of queues for all kinds of permutations for all kinds of possibilities, but I'll let that creativity be onto you because the steps are exactly the same. You click on that create new queue button, you fill out the criteria, you give it a name, and then most importantly, before we log off out of all this, you click that create button down here in the bottom right corner. So once you do that, then the queue becomes available. Remember, if your agents need to engage in conversations with customers that don't speak their native language, you can make everyone's lives easier with language translations for JSM. And it's not just about the translations. You can build queues for customers by language or simply automate assignments so that your specific language speakers are automatically given that specific ticket based on their specific language. Check it out in the Atlassian Marketplace and don't forget that there's a 20% code in the description down below. But now, keep in mind that this queue is over here on the left-hand side other, under other. We don't want that. I want this queue to be a little bit more front and center and I want it to be up at the top. So in order to move this queue and put it where I want it, I have to go back and click on that Manage Queues button. And then you'll notice that I see my new in-progress queue over here. So I just gotta drag it and put it over here and then hit Close. Because now when I do that, you'll notice that my in-progress request is now at the top. And then finally, if you want to make sure that your queue is always front and center, you can simply hover over your queues here. You'll notice that there's a little star. Essentially, it's a bookmark. You can click on that and that's going to move it up here. Now, one thing to note is that when you come and look at your queues over here, your queues are not going to show up here. It just depends on the type of Jira project that you set up. So some of the templates will show them to you. Others are going to require you to go into the queue and then you're gonna be able to see the queue. So your mileage is gonna vary there, so don't keep that in mind if your UI looks a little bit different. It is gonna be dependent on that initial template that you picked. Now, I just picked the general IT one. I didn't do the ITSM one, which is usually a little bit more complex and more sophisticated. This is the very, very basic, just I general IT template for the JSM project, and so this is kind of just how it works here. Now, that's all you need to know. Essentially, once you create your queues, you go back into that manage queues, you put them in the right spot, and then now when you click into your queues here, they're gonna show up in the right area. And you can just add whatever queues you want, create a queue for different team members, for different statuses, for different fields, whatever information you want, you now have the ability to create these custom queues because they're just gonna help your team stay focused. Because like as I've been mentioning throughout this video, if you just depend on one giant massive queue, things might get lost in there because while I only have like five or six issues in here, over time in a real company, in a real team, you're gonna have hundreds if not thousands of different requests that are coming in. And so you're gonna wanna maybe redirect traffic to the right team so that the request can be worked by the right individuals or by the right team. Getting tickets in Arabic, Chinese, or Spanish? No problem. With language translation for JSM, your agents will engage with your customers as if they were natives. Simply install the app from the Atlassian Marketplace and define your project default language and go. Oh, and while you're doing that, make sure you check out the description down below because our good friends over at Resolution have provided us with a 20% discount that you can use when you sign up for language translation for JSM. Don't miss this chance as they only have a few left. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you smash that like button. Also, keep in mind that this video is part of the Summer of Atlassian 2.0 series, which means we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. We're almost there, but we need your help. And so if you made it this far and you haven't yet smashed the subscribe button down below, I implore you to click that button and help the channel out and grow tremendously. Also, don't forget to check out the links in the description below so you can see all the different ways that you can help support the channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need